Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Young, speaking to you here from the Beret Dome, a grand and awe-inspiring monument here on this virtual island. Welcome to the launch of our Army's virtual exhibition. You might recall having visited past Army open houses or Heartland exhibitions and having a great time with your family. I am pleased to let you know that despite COVID-19, our Army has put together a virtual exhibition on this occasion of its 55th anniversary to bring an exciting piece of the Army to you and your family. The exhibition this year is themed Our Army Family to represent the special ties forged between our soldiers in their service to Singapore and to honour the support from families and loved ones. It will tell the story of our army and give our soldiers an opportunity to share their experiences in our army with their families. There will be specially curated family-oriented activities, programs and games for everyone in the family to participate in. This is our home. The sights, sounds and people we love. This is Vicky, my loving wife and mother of our two boys. She has a deep sense of purpose in serving the country and taking care of the family. She is a soldier, a leader, and a commander who is a role model to our sons. My daddy's name is Hanson. He always brings us out on weekends. Although my daddy is a financial services manager, there are a few weeks in the year that he's in green. And he's our favorite soldier. My son, Ryan, always accompanies me on the weekends. Even when he's had a long week in camp, he still makes the effort to spend time with us. I'm so proud to watch him grow from a sweet boy to a mature young man. My son, Shaman, did his full-time national service back in 2009. After that, he went to university. Upon graduation, he decided to continue serving the nation. I always love it when he shares his stories with us. It reminds me of the reason I used to serve. It's his passion and he's doing it for us, his family and his country. My husband Helmi makes it a point to express how much his family means to him through all the moments we share and enjoy together. Even at work, I see how much he values his army family. From dawn to dusk, our soldiers, steadfast and resolute, keeping us safe and secure so that we can create moments with our loved ones. It is the soldier in every family, mothers, fathers, spouses, sons and daughters. They are all part of our Army family. We love and support them. This is their duty and we are their reason. We are honoured to have with us Senior Minister of State for Defence, Mr. Heng Chi Hao, who will be addressing us and launching the Army 55 virtual exhibition. SMS Heng, please. Fellow Singaporeans, members of our Army family, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here today 
in this virtual exhibition hall to commemorate the 55th anniversary of our Army and to launch the Army 55 virtual exhibition. I'm also very glad that despite the challenges posed by COVID-19, we are still able to come together and celebrate this important milestone as one Army family and bring the Army virtually to Singaporeans. The Singapore Army has come a long way from its modest beginnings. From two infantry battalions, when Singapore became independent, we built up a citizen army through national service. Our army grew from an infantry-based force in the first generation to a combined arms army in the second generation. The third generation army of today is a network force enabled by precision information, maneuver and firepower. It is ready and decisive, able to conduct a full spectrum of operations from peace to war to secure Singapore's peace and security. Over the past 55 years, our army has given strength and confidence to Singapore and Singaporeans, especially in times of crisis. This enduring commitment was exemplified most recently in our national fight against COVID-19. In our nation's time of need, our army answered the call of duty. Over 5,000 army personnel, active and NS, stepped forward to contribute to the fight and made a difference in supporting our healthcare system, in contact tracing, and in containing community infections, in taking care of our migrant workers, and enabling resumption of essential services. Our soldiers embodied the Army spirit, a strong sense of mission and unwavering commitment. I'd like to say a big thank you to our soldiers for your contributions in keeping Singaporeans safe and Singapore strong. Our Army is strong because of the commitment of our soldiers and the public support for national service and our national defence. This year, we are commemorating Army 55 with the theme, Our Army Family. It celebrates the strong bonds and brotherhood among soldiers serving in our army. At the same time, it reminds us that as a citizen army, our army thrives on public and family support. When we enlist a soldier, we enlist his whole family. When our NS men turn up for our ICT, they do so with the understanding of their families and their employers. Indeed, there is a soldier in every Singaporean family. Sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, husbands and wives, fathers and mothers. Our families are both our pillar of support, but also the reason why we serve and defend. We see this when family members send our soldiers off for BMT and celebrate with them at graduation and milestone parades. We see that when loved ones write letters to encourage our soldiers or to welcome them back home after training and overseas exercises. We see that when spouses, family, colleagues go the extra mile to enable our NS men to join the ICTs. Army 55 is a time for us to celebrate and appreciate the soldier in every family and the strength we draw from our Army family. This virtual exhibition will honour our soldiers and those who support them. It will tell the stories of our soldiers through their eyes and bring their families closer to their journey in our Army. It will also allow our soldiers to participate in activities with their loved ones and celebrate our common bonds as one Army family. I welcome all of you to join us at the virtual exhibition. On behalf of our Army, let me once again thank all our soldiers, past and present, for your dedication, commitment and sacrifices made towards our Army over the past 55 years in service of our national defence. I would also like to express my appreciation to every member of our Army family for your continued support toward our soldiers and our army. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this virtual exhibition.
may we now invite SMS Heng to launch the exhibition. He's accompanied by Colonel Dean Ye, Chairman of the Army 55 Virtual Exhibition Organizing Committee, and they will be joining Chief of Army Major General Goh Si Hao, Director National Service Affairs Brigadier General Kenneth Liao, and Sergeant Major of the Army Chief Warrant Officer Chua Hong Guan on stage. SMS Heng, please. Army 55 Virtual Exhibition is now officially launched! What's up? It's Mike. It's been more than 10 years since we've ORD'd, but we are back to ask some army experts anything. We're going to be signing on just for a few days. Today, we'll be meeting Colonel Ian Hu, who is the commander of the Commando Training Institute. And he's been in this role for about a year. However, he's been in service for 22 years. And he's going to teach me how to earn my Red Beret. Oof, let's go. Hi, nice to meet you, JK. Great to meet you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell I'm dressed to be a commando today with my red shirt? Mm. And I did 100 push-ups to be as tough as you. Good job, man. You can do more later. <laughs> <laughs> can I start by asking you, what exactly is your role in the commandos? Actually, I'm the commander of the Commando Training Institute. So I'm the head looking after all the training for the commando formation, as well as I do conduct some courses for the larger army as well. Can we have a look? Yeah, sure. Oh. All right, sir, can I ask, did you always know you wanted to be a commando? Actually, no. no but along the way, I was given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's 22 years right now. Wow! So, what is the toughest challenge being a commando? The hardest thing is constantly trying to upkeep the expectations and standards of being a commando. So, mm -hmm. you, you want to do your best, so constantly you try to want to do well. So, that, that's a pressure like, you give yourself all the time. <laughs> and what about toughest mission? I think the toughest mission so far 
Oh. It's to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> if I tell anything more, I perhaps will kill you. Oh no! <laughs> okay, don't tell me anything. Let's talk about the badges. So okay. yours has so many badges. Can I ask, what is the most memorable one? SF Ranger College, because I have to spend 65 days training non-stop just to earn this badge. What? So you have to do a lot of training, a lot of fitness training, mm -hmm. uh, and you are constantly doing round the clock. So you have lack of sleep, lack of food, and you can't see your loved ones. So yeah, the buddies will keep you awake uh, all the way to the end of the cross. Yeah. And can I ask about the Special Forces this International? Yeah. I have never seen that before. Yeah. This is the equivalent of the SAF, uh, Special Forces Qualification course. Ah. This is done in the United States. Mm. And you spend seven months uh, going through a course and this bench. Wow, today. that's a very long time. Right. I'm sure you have kids. Mm -hmm, yeah, I have two boys. Right. Yeah. If I were to, to ask them, what does Papa do at work? Mm -hmm. What do you think they'll say? My older boy likes to play the game Call of Duty. Ah. Are you one of the characters in the Call of Duty? Yeah? But what is the commando's role in the army? The commando conducts special operations. So special operations come in many forms and that's about I can tell you. Like <laughs> can you I, share with us some fun facts? Have you been to Changi Village? Yes. So actually unknown to many and now store that sells desserts. So one of the desserts is actually named after the commando. So let me give you a chance to be closer to a paratrooper. This is the rotational training system. This is just one of the many stations that we'll put our paratroopers through to get trained to be a paratroopist. So today I have a task for you. Uh -huh. Your job is to unentangle yourself. Can I ask about the airborne training? Like, how long is the training? Just three weeks to get you trained oh. and to be ready to be able to jump from the aircraft. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it with me? I will be your buddy. Let's yeah. Go. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, really, sir. So when you jump out of the aircraft, when a parachute is deployed, you are expected to turn left or right so they can face the drop zone. And once in a while, when the lines get entangled, you have to unentangle yourself and get yourself out. Now let me show you another technique. Body to the front, legs to the left a little bit. Easy. Okay. Bending, huh? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm ready for my red berry. I think you look good without a berry for now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sir! I don't think I'm ready! We only went for one training! Ah. JK, ah. relax. Just remember what I've taught you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be a paratrooper for a minute. <laughs> okay, sir. I think it's now my turn to put you in the hot seat. You ready? Let's go. Okay, let's go for real. Ah! Alright sir, I have a tough mm -hmm. question. If you were not a commando, what do you think you'll be doing today? I think I'll be a full-time father. Ah! <laughs> you mean circuit breaker, I've been uh, at home more. The family is quite used to me and quite used to the family uh, spending more time with them. The more serious thing, if I hadn't joined the army, probably an engineer or a teacher. Now, the commandos have the Best Combat Unit Award 17 consecutive times. Uh, are you ever worried that you will lose this streak? Yeah, I used to worry when I was a CEO. But not now, <laughs> after I handed over. I think the greatest competitor is ourselves to keep the title. <laughs> Alright, so what keeps you up at night? I think it's English <laughs> student. <laughs> Actually, to me, the, the top concern of my mind most of the time will be on the safety of my trainees. Ah. Because we conduct over 300 high-risk training. So I think it's important to continue to watch through over them, make sure that we're tough, holistic and safe training. At the same time, please share yeah, our training and come so we'll go back to the love lines. So the last half question. question. There's a beautiful red berry. Can I keep this as a souvenir? I think you look good without red berry for now, you know. But what I'll do is I will treat you to a nice red commando dessert. Huh? Let's have 10. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I think we've earned it. All right. I'm Suzanne, a cookbook author and chef instructor. I can be found on Instagram at suzanne.decochiffon and specialise in cute chiffon cakes. I'm honoured to celebrate with the Singapore Army on its 55th anniversary this year. To commemorate this significant milestone, the Army is holding an Army 55 virtual exhibition from the 1st to 13th December and there's a series of activities and programmes lined up for you and your family. 
so do watch this space. To celebrate the Army's 55th anniversary, I will be sharing with you on how to bake a leopard tank chiffon cake today. So mummies with kids who love tanks, do pay close attention. I was inspired to make this cake by this year's NDP mobile column that came to the heartlands. It was really uplifting to see the display of strength and unity and also exciting for the kids who have never seen tanks up close before. The baking molds I will be using for the tank are one 6 times 4 inch rectangular baking tray for the hull. You can use oven safe glass or aluminium trays. Two smaller 6 times 3 inch loaf pans. One for the turret on top and one for the sheet cake for the treks. One cake pot mold for making the cute soldiers. I will line the base of the baking tray and the loaf pans with baking sheet so that it's easier to remove the cakes later. Let's take a look at the ingredients for the chiffon cake. Today's tank is pandan vanilla flavoured. We use 2 egg yolks and also 3 egg whites for the fluffy texture, 13 grams caster sugar for the egg yolk batter and also 30 grams for the egg whites. More is needed for the egg whites. We use 28 grams vegetable or coconut oil for this recipe. You can use 26 grams of water, milk or coconut milk here. Water gives a lighter texture while coconut milk is more fragrant. 4 grams vanilla extract, it adds a creamy flavour. Half a teaspoon of pandan paste, this gives the beautiful pandan flavour and fragrance to the cake. 40 grams cake flour, do sift before use. 1 quarter teaspoon cream of tartar, this is meant for stabilising the meringue. Charcoal powder or black food colouring, for colouring the tracks and for colouring the tank darker green. We will also need some chocolate chips for the wheels, Pocky for the gun, Nutella for piping the faces, marshmallows for making the glue for assembling the structure, round sprinkles for the headlights, and also lastly a flag. So let's prepare the egg yolk batter. Beat egg yolks with caster sugar in a mixing bowl using a whisk. Add oil and mix well. Followed by water or coconut milk and vanilla extract. Whisk well. Add in your cake flour and stir well. Whisk until there are no lumps. Bring out a weighing scale and remove 10 grams for plain batter for making the soldier's face. To the rest of the batter, we will add in our half teaspoon of pandan paste and mix well. So just a tip, you can further darken the green shade by adding some black food colouring or charcoal powder but it is optional, so I just add a little bit. Prepare meringue, whisk egg whites with cream of tartar using an electric mixer. Then we will add in our caster sugar bit by bit and whisk until firm peaks. we are looking for firm peaks. Bring back your weighing scale and we will portion out 10 grams of meringue for the plain batter. Bring your flexible spatula and we will fold in the pandan batter in three additions. So the first one third. Remember to fold in a single direction, rotating the bowl as you go. Second one third. And the last one third. So 
also bring back your moulds and remember to preheat your oven to 140 degrees. So we will fill our rectangular baking tray with pandan batter for the hull. And lightly tap on it to remove air bubbles. And next we will also fill the loaf pan for the turret. We will only fill to about 2cm for the thickness. Tap it again. And we also fill two cake pops for the soldiers' heads. Now we will fold the cream batter and also fill two cake pops for the soldiers' faces. Again, fold in one direction. Fill two cake pops. Give a good tap. Then to the leftover batter, we will add in charcoal powder or black colouring and pour into the loaf pan. So this black colour will be used for colouring the tracks. So we'll just add to colour. So for the sheet cake, actually you don't really need to fold it. Okay, you can just mix it and we'll just pour into the loaf pan here. So we'll bake the big tray for 45 minutes, the loaf pan for 32 minutes, the cake pops for 22 minutes and lastly the black sheet cake for 16 minutes. We let the cakes cool completely once out of the oven before unmolding. To save time, I pre baked the cakes to show you the assembly of the tanks and here are the unmolded cakes. So get ready a cutting mat and a knife. So let's make the hull. We'll slice the two ends at an angle to make the leopard tank V-shape. a line at the middle for the wheels and slice off about 2mm thick for inserting the wheels. So set aside the hull cake. Next for the turret, we will slice off 2cm from one side and then two small triangles to make the shape. And we will make two indents for the pattern. Just wobble your knife. So we will set the turret cake aside as well. For the tracks, cut two 1.8cm strips from the black cake for the rubber belt. Here is some melted marshmallow. We will just melt one marshmallow in the microwave with a sprinkle of water or chocolate as glue. Bring back your hull cake and invert it. You can use a small brush or a spoon to apply the marshmallow glue. Flip the cake back over and place the tank body on the cake board. And now we will stick on the wheels with chocolate. And we also cut the tracks for the rubber belt. And we will repeat this for the other side. And now we will stick the turret on. And assemble the soldiers. So for each soldier, we will stick one cream cake with the green cake on top and we will stick this onto the top turret. We will then use Nutella to pipe their eyes and mouth. Use some cake crumbs to add camouflage patches on their faces. Insert the pocky for the gun. Add on some headlights. And lastly, we will stick on the cute flag. And our cute leopard tank chiffon cake is complete. Before we end the show, I am glad to share that we will be giving away 5 pushing cookbooks and exclusive Army 55 souvenirs to 5 lucky winners. Simply bake a Singapore Army themed chiffon cake after watching this cooking show. Post a picture of it on Facebook or Instagram and make your post public. Tag the Singapore Army and hashtag Army55 Chiffon Cake. The 5 most creative Singapore Army themed chiffon cakes can bring home the prizes.